Okay, I've got Jason Falls here, a soon-to-be published author, the founder of the famous blog Social Media Explorer, okay. a social media expert mm. slash guru, mm. and the founder of the online learning community Exploring Social Media. Jason, we're here today because I want to know, how did you get to where you are today? <laughs> Well, I got off the bus and I walked to the... No, um, the my story in, in social media is sort of a circuitous route, but uh, but a fun story nonetheless. When I was right out of college, um, I got a, a really nice job in radio as a producer in New York City. Um, but I'm from this really, really small town in eastern Kentucky, so the local newspaper asked me if I would write a column uh, for the paper, you know, small town kid goes big time or whatever. Um, and I was really a low level producer, but the ABC at the time didn't have any problem with it. And they let me write this little sports column and it evolved into a, a Friday editorial in the paper and whatnot. Well, about a year, um, I, well, in, in the year and a half that I wrote that column, I tried to figure out how to publish this thing online so that people outside of my little hometown could read it. And the newspaper at that time didn't have a website. So I, I, my first column uh, that I published online was in 1997, late 1997, early 1998. And it was an AOL member pages um, uh, blog, if you will. And I call it a blog because I would ask people to email me questions about what I wrote about. I would publish the questions the next week and then answer them on the, in the online version, not actually in the paper. Uh, about a year and a half into that, the newspaper decided they didn't like my sense of humor and they fired me, um, <laughs> and uh, which is you know, sort of a recurring theme in my life. Um, but uh, I kept writing. I just kept writing online and kept publishing. Um, there was about a, a year period in the like 2001 phase where um, I didn't publish much. I kind of you know laid, laid off of it for a while. But it was always a personal blog, and it was always about trying to make people laugh and explore humor writing and whatnot. It was never about clients. It was never about business. Um, in 2005, my son was born, and I decided that I wanted to get out of the world of college athletics PR, which is where I wound up after the broadcast career. I was a college sports information director. I was traveling, you know, three days a week, nine months out of the year. I missed most of the first year of my son's life and decided I wanted to get out and get into mainstream marketing PR. Got a job in Louisville, uh, which is closer to home for for me and certainly where my wife was born and raised and um, started working at Doe Anderson, the advertising agency, as a PR account manager and looked around and said, why aren't we talking to our clients about blogging and social media, which is something I've been doing for almost a decade as a personal hobby kind of thing. And nobody really had any idea what I was talking about. My CEO, um, Dave Wilkins at the time, and then Todd Spencer, who later became the CEO, were both like, Man, if you can sell it, you can do it. So put together some ideas, and if the clients like it, let's let's go to town. And I put together some ideas, and the clients liked it. And it just so happened we were working with clients like Maker's Mark and Jim Beam, and you know some pretty big brands. And all of a sudden, I went from you know middle manager PR hack to director of social media for a national advertising agency, and, and was working with some pretty big brands in you know oh seven oh eight ish when very few people were. And um, it just kind of happened to be at the right place at the right time. And it snowballed from there. And so tell us what you're doing now, you know, with with your upcoming projects and current projects and what, what, what's next for Jason Falls. Well, you know, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of an evolution. I've been, I left Doe Anderson two years ago this summer and I've been out on my own uh, as an independent consultant for a couple of years. I still have a full client load. I've got six or eight active clients that I'm working with right now. And um, I'm writing a book, as you said. I'll, that'll, that'll be published in uh, September, October this year. Um, and uh, Exploring Social Media is a learning community that I um, uh, kind of developed the concept because, number one, my mom uh, signed up for Facebook and posted a 400-word diatribe about all the emotional toils and troubles of our family and decided to publish it on my wall instead of uh, as a private message. Um, and so I thought, we got to bridge this gap because there's people out there who are using this stuff that don't know how to use it. Um, and I think there's a huge gap between the, the, the social media technology echo chamber and the rest of the world. And I'm afraid that if we don't bridge that gap and help educate people on how to use these tools and use technology 
for business and productivity that, that we're going to have another bubble at some point. And uh, I'm trying to avoid that, so I'm trying to bridge that gap. And exploring social media also is a way for me to um, be a consultant for people but scale that so that I can answer people's questions a lot and not have to be in a locked-in retainer-based commitment with them to do so. So you subscribe for 25 bucks a month and you come in and ask me and other digital marketing experts we have on staff, yourself, Tamara Weinberg, Nick Hune, and then there's other people in the community that we've got sort of strategically placed that are experts on different things. Um, and they answer your questions. And so if you're stuck, if you need to bounce ideas off people who have worked with brands, we're there to answer your questions. So that's a way for me to scale that access and that expertise. I'm also developing some uh, you know, online market research products that I hope to be launching soon. Um, and then um, I'm also in one of those very, very fortunate positions of being someone who people will you know, pay to come speak to conferences and events about this world we're, we're, we're forging um, you know, our, our existence in as digital marketers. Um, and so that's what's in the future for me. And there's not a real end game in sight other than I want to make social media marketing more accessible. And that's for individuals with exploring social media and also for small and medium businesses with the market research products that I'm working on. Final question, what gets you pumped? <laughs> Personal work related. Okay. What gets you? What gets you really jazzed and pumped? <laughs> I uh, well, there, there's a couple things. Uh, first of all, I'm a big sports nut, and so uh, I love more than anything in the world. Like you and I last night with Rick Calvert went to a Washington Nationals baseball game, and and uh, right after the national anthem, right before the first pitch, that's like that's my perfect time of day, game, year, whatever. I love that, just sitting back and watching the crowd enjoying a ball game. That gets me really fired up. Um, playing with my kids, man. I've got a six-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl, and they're by far uh, the real reason I was put on this earth. Um, and uh, they blow me away, and just being around them and playing with them is really cool. That gets me pumped. And then to be honest with you, when, when I'm given a communications challenge from a client and I'm in a room with smart people and we're throwing ideas up on the whiteboard, it's that's like being in the zone shooting three pointers, man. I'm just I'm drilling stuff all day, and ideas are going up there, and we're kind of pulling them all together and saying, "Yeah, that's going to work. Let's work on that a little bit more." I love that sort of brainstorming ideation session. Uh, don't get to do it as often uh, as I as I like to because that's one very small piece of a greater client project. But that's fun for me. If I could do only that every day, I'd be man. I'd be I'd be smoking. That'd be cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. There you have it. Jason Falls, Unplugged.